The team are in Manchester's fashionable Canal Street, full of modern clubs, cafes and bars. Will any of the clientele be tempted by one of the oldest contracts going? This is the three shell game. In this case, played with three bottle tops and a pea. Come on, folks, try your luck. Anybody want to play? It's very simple, real money for real luck. All you have to do is find the pea. Very simple, always starts there. I'm going to move them around like that. Paul is the operator, or the shell man, and he's looking for a victim. Come on in. Come on in. Don't just look. Stand over there. All you got to do is guess where the pea is. It always starts there. All right, where is it now? I haven't done anything yet. Like that. Perfect, just like that, watch. There's the P, you know where it is. All I'm gonna do is move them around like that. I'll do it again, you know it's not there. Where is it? It's not there, it's not there. It's gotta be there. Now, sounds like fun, but it is for money. You want, you want to have a try? Yeah, yeah. I'm... Yeah, maybe oh, for some money, 10 pounds? Alex is a collaborator in the scam known as a shill. He is gonna to pretend to play the game and so entice the victims into betting. Even money paid, you give me a 10 or I give you 20 back. All right, All right where is it now? There it is. I'm gonna try and confuse you. A little bit of that. Where is it? Middle one. Middle one? Look at that. Sweet. You got a winner. All right. Ten, ten. Alex win. wins, and so the victims are conned into believing that they can succeed too. But the reality is that they don't stand a chance. All right. Move them around like that. What? Bring the money out your pocket. What you got? Come on. Don't listen to her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Feel the luck. Feel the luck. All right, a tenner. A tenner for which one? Middle one. Tenner 20, for the middle 20 one. 20 on this one. 20 on that one. I've got to take the bigger bet. 20 on that one. I've got to one. take the bigger no. bet. Look, it's over there. You should have listened to this guy. He knows what he's talking about. Do it again. This one's for you. What? Hey, the money on that one. Alex loses, but this is all part of the plan to make the real players think that they are smarter and so are more likely to win. This one there. Show me your money. What have you got? Make it 20 so he doesn't come over the top of you. Come on. Make it 20. Right, you shouldn't listen to me, mate. I already know it's over there. Look, we'll do it again. <laughs> Jess is another show, and she is there to squeeze more money from our victims by pretending to cheat for them against Paul. Okay, one more time, where is it? It's right there, yeah? All right, I'll do it for you this time. Jess leans in and whispers her plan. She will mark the bottle top that has the pee under it with a smear of lipstick. If the players pick that one, then they can't lose. Of course, we know that they can't win. All right, it's in the middle one. I <laughs> think you're cheating. Go on then, go on then. Don't drop it now. Jess leaves a tiny mark on the bottle top with her lipstick. Can I check it, just in case you, yeah, all right. I know where it is. Now watch, very, very slowly, okay? You know exactly where it is. Where is it now? Come on, show me the money. Show me the money. What have you got? 20 quid. 20 quid. 20 on quid this on this one. one. No, 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 that one. That one. That, that one. one. That one. 20, 20 quid, quid on that one. How much are you betting? 20. On this one? 10. This one. That one. How much? 20. 20. 20. Well, it's not there, mate. It's over there. Like that. The victims have now lost 40 pounds. It's, um... Was that you? No. With barefaced cheek, Paul accuses the players of cheating, this is, this is which money. allows him sorry, to close the game and keep the money, as well as seeing off his victims before they realise they have been conned. This is a game for money. You can't cheat. OK? I got I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. All right, I'm done. If you're, gonna, if you're not going to play fair, I can't play you. I'm sorry. OK? Come on, folks, try your luck. It's a game anybody can play. Very simple. Paul is up for snaring more players, while his victims have time to reflect on their defeat. Well, initially, when I when I first went to to um, have a bet on it, I didn't really think I was spending any money. But when the girl kind of like said, with his lipstick on it, it's, that's going to be it. You kind of like assume, you know, how can it not be any different? So I guess I guess the uh, because of the girl's presence made me spend a bit more money than I would have done. I'm gonna give you Paul, Alex and Jess are conning another pair. But even if these two choose correctly, they can never win. A skilled shell man uses sleight of hand and other tricks to always take your money. Which one? That one you should have said over there, mate. Sorry. That's how the game works. Sorry, guys. The shell game is centuries old, and people are still falling victim to it all over Europe. The problem is, they will never win, as this game relies solely on the hustler's sleight of hand. This is called the shell and pea. 
There's no P here. There's no P here. The P starts right there, like that. Nothing under here. All you have to do is watch for the P. Here we go. If I wanted to, I could put the P here. Or I could put the P here. The P, of course, is right there. And that's why you lose.